is Garrett here with Oppenheimer Airsoft. Just wanted to showcase a cool product some of you may be familiar with if you've watched Red Wolf TV or Daniel Castro's Milson Media covering some of the recent AMS events. You might become familiar with this little monster that we've created. Uh, we have dubbed this the Warthog build and some of you might understand why if you've seen Castro's gameplay at the new high ground airsoft in Texas. This is the Warthog. Simple and eloquent, this is a dual sector gear gun. This is built around one jewel. This is purely an indoor gun, which with the range you can run it outdoors if you want. Um, we've been getting around 225, 250 foot shots out of a barrel half the size of a standard full size rifle. Um, what's great about this build is it has extremely snappy trigger response and a hellishly fast full auto rate of fire. Just to show that off real quick, here's the semi. And the reason we call it the Warthog, yeah. Collapsible stock, a lot of guys like the marine stock style on their CPB guns. Pretty guys stuck in it. And the suppressor is quick change, so you can take that on, put it on, however you want to configure it. It is front wired for a PEC style 11.1 volt battery. Uh, this is in the 416 configuration, unlike Castro and Kaiju's VFC Staring configurations, which we offer in both platforms. Um, one thing that actually works really well with these guns, especially if you want to do some outdoor close quarters action, uh, if you watch the Ironclad video, you actually probably see a lot of guys utilizing tracer units. Uh, we do offer the B&T full auto tracer units, uh, which paired with this gun are an absolute monster. Um, so yeah, that's it. Well, I look forward to more videos of this gun. Definitely check out Daniel Castro's gameplay footage. He's putting out new videos every week. Make sure and check those out. Shoot on over to Red Wolf TV. Uh, give us a like on Facebook, Oppenheimer Airsoft. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Give us a like. Stay frosty, gentlemen.